So when we first opened and we decided to use these Breville machines because that's what we could afford, um, I used to feel like an imposter and now I, I don't feel like an imposter at all. These machines pull amazing shots and if you maintain them, see I need to descale, I flush, I change the filter every week, I descale um, because these are going through a lot more than they would if they were just at your house. So. But if you maintain them, you're gonna be good. I got a customer pulling up, so I had to finish that drink. But as I was saying, um, if you use the dual wall insert that goes in these, you can pull a perfect shot every time. And it's really, to me, it's really about the quality of the product that you're using. You can have a really nice machine, and I know this happens. You have a $6,000 machine and you're putting trash coffee in it. Well, guess what, it's not gonna be good, right? So we have locally roasted coffee. This stuff is so good, you guys. And anyways, I'm not ashamed of our Breville. These are $900 machines. They're not a joke. They are home machines, I guess. Um, so, you know, the critics might criticize, but um, everybody loves our coffee. I love our coffee. I'm proud of our, our product. We did get a bigger fridge. I got my salad in there right now but it lets us have a little more space and it's the kind that you can open on either side so I recommend that you can make it open this way or make it open that way that was another one of our upgrades that we did along with getting our air conditioner and we also got a new generator which I'll show you guys later but it's really important that you check the oil on your generator because those suckers burn oil so I've got my chair out Here's my husband bringing me corners. There you go. Thank you. Yep. Say hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. <laughs> All right. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. So loud. So, yeah. Um, I. That's all I was going to say is if you take care of it and you put a quality product in, these machines are awesome. So, Breville, if you want to sponsor me with a free machine, I'd love that. <laughs> um, but you got to get the Pro, you can't get the Express. The Express takes way too long to steam milk because it only has one um, hole in the bottom of it there. Sorry, it's blurry. So I like to get my milk going first. I'm doing a 16 ounce, which is our small. And... You want to have two machines. You want to. Trust me on this. Then you can pull shot and steam milk at the same time. And you can get foam on almond milk. It's not going to be as great a foam, but if you take some time with it, um, you can get a little bit of foam. So when I do a hot drink, I like a little bit of foam. I would say one of the main criteria, if you want to have a coffee truck or a coffee shop, is that you really have to like coffee. Because you always want to be tasting your product, making sure that you know everything's tasting good. If you're not trying it, you don't know. And... That's just it. I mean, you really gotta love coffee. Alright, so I got my temperature gauge there. When it gets to 160, I'll pull it. Um, what am I gonna have? I always drink a French haze, but I think today I want a caramel French haze. So let's make that. Um, so my French haze is one pump of Ghirardelli car caramel, and that I just added some to this so it didn't really come out all the way. Um, and it is four hazelnut and three vanilla. What was I saying? I forgot. I put my shot in. Use one of these thingy majiggers. 
Get it nice and spun. Oh, French haze is supposed to be a pour through. It's supposed to be a macchiato, but it's fine. It all tastes the same when you drink it, but it's really pretty on the iced one. That one gets, let me focus. Maybe this is your first time here. I wanna to try to give you all the info I can. DoorDash is great. Um, this probably brings in, on an average, about $200 a week. So sometimes it's a pain because we're busy and it starts going off and then the DoorDash person is in line. And um, But you just, I just take it who's in front of me who's in front of me and if I have time I write the cups for the DoorDash order um, so yeah and then I use this this is our square thing it's very basic uh, you can you can get it on the square site um, when we started out we had I actually have two these I think they give you these for like five bucks or free for the first one but it's really awkward to hand someone your phone um, with this, you don't need a signature. You can accept Apple Pay. And then you just hook up the hotspot on your phone. Um, you do have to pay for a hotspot, which it's not any more than my regular. I use Straight Talk, 50 bucks a month, unlimited hotspot, whatever. So I run this has to be connected to Wi-Fi. So if you don't have Wi-Fi set up, which usually if you're mobile, you don't, um, you need to use your hotspot. But I haven't had any issues with that yet, so knock on wood. Um, and I'm gonna put on some classic rock. Um, REM, classic rock, sure, whatever. I guess I'm old. So anyways, yeah. I'm just trying to share all the information I can because like I said, I'm an open book. I just thought of something. Um, so I'm going to show you at the end how we fill up um, from the water hose, we fill up what we wash dishes with, but we don't serve coffee from tap water. So we have bottled water that goes in our coffee maker and our espresso machine. So um, yeah, I mean, you don't want to serve tap water, even though you have a filter in your machine. If you, like I said, if you start with good things, you're going to get something that tastes good, but yeah, please don't use tap water. <laughs> It'd be so bad especially here the water here is not good finally the coffee's kicking in so okay oh and another thing if we had this to build again we would do a 7 by 14 so we would have just a little more space right here um, because there's two of us and you see how narrow this is so it can get a little crazy and then um, we would also do the the deeper sinks we just got like our sinks are like this deep so it's fine, it works, but having like actual kitchen sinks would be better and they're not that much more expensive. And we have the space under here for a deeper sink. So I just keep thinking of things. I'm like, if I had it to do again, and if we built one out for, for someone, we would put bigger sinks in. Another thing that you wanna do is have sanitizer. Um, to pass your inspection, you're gonna have to have some kind of sanitizer, but you also wanna use that sanitizer. So. Um, when I wash dishes at the end of the day, they all get sanitized. So there's our one little sign. Can you see that out by the road? That's as far as I can zoom in. Um, we've been leaving that up all week just so people know like when we're not here that, that we're here. And then, yeah. This is gonna be such a long video. Okay, so the other thing that I do <laughs> is I keep all my coffee grinds. Whee! Forgot to empty it this weekend. So 
So here in a minute, I'm gonna go down there and get my hoses, and then that's where we um, have a sewer access to drain um, our gray water, which is just like milky water, really. All right, so I just had a whole rush of customers. It's almost one. I thought the camera was on, but then it ran out of um, it ran out of tape. So uh, now I got to wash all the dishes. But I had like I had two guys from out of town. Then I had another customer. And then another customer. And then I think two more after that. So darn, I didn't get it all recorded. But anyways, I'm glad I've been busy. And now I'm gonna be late closing. But it's fine. It's fine. So anyways hot in here now so I'm in different clothes so I'll see you at the end I got to clear some space on my card so I can show you how I do the cords and all that other stuff I got to do outside all right so I got super delayed like I said so it's starting to rain so I got to hurry up so I'm gonna grab my freshwater hose stick this in the back but I need to get this generator off probably just gonna go ahead and turn the generator off because it's starting to rain and I gotta cover it. So, I come in here and I have a little cap on that and then the hose just goes in there and fills up my fresh water. But I don't really need, let's see. I gotta finish the last of this before I turn the generator off because the water does not run without the generator. This is the last thing that I'm washing. And then I'm going to go turn that generator off. And cover it. <laughs> I'm going to say that the, making this video distracted me today, but I had some late customers. So when it's raining and we're open, we have a tent. But otherwise, we have a tarp, which is on the other side. And now that my water's in, I can go ahead and turn that hose on. the drain hose when I'm ready and I have it in the thing I'm gonna open it like that and I'm watching my water fill up okay so I ran out of camera space again and it really is raining now so I did all the cords and I'm just waiting on the drain to drain because I had some issues with my hoses um, I'll try to do another video about how to prime your hoses when you're trying to drain your tank but anyways I'm pretty much wrapped up I just swept the floor got everything out and now I get to go to Walmart and get some supplies for my family and for tomorrow. We like to pick them up the night before so we have it all ready and I'm getting wet. So.